everybody, my name is Lizzie with a Y. Thank you so much for stopping by. So since I haven't done one of these in a while, I have decided to do another Q&A with questions from you guys. So I asked you guys on my Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and all those good places for questions for this Q&A. And a lot of the ones that I got were actually ones that I've already answered previously in other videos. So if you want to know stuff like what it's like to voice Caitlyn, when I met Jess, how I started doing my street, why I don't play games on my channel, why I'm not interested in shows like America's Got Talent or The Voice, what my process is for writing my original songs, I did a whole video just on that. You know, stuff like favorite color, favorite TV show, favorite movie, um, all that kind of stuff. I've done other Q&A videos in the past where I've talked about those exact things and much more. So if you finish this video and find that your question was not answered here, chances are it was answered in one of my previous videos, and the links to those will be in the description. So let's answer some questions, son! Waluigi or Goofy? How dare you make me choose between my children? How do you feel about the whole travel and ship thing? So I have absolutely no problem with people shipping characters or shipping specifically characters that I voice. Um, that is totally cool. Where it starts to be a bit of a problem is when people bring the voice actors into it and, you know, start treating voice actors as if they are their characters and shipping voice actors together. That is weird and not okay. So just the important thing to remember is that voice actors are not their characters. Do whatever you want with fictional characters, but please leave real people out of it. Thanks. How's life at the moment? I gotta say life's pretty good. It's it's going good. There's there's a lot of exciting things coming up on the horizon. Um, of course, continuing with voice acting and YouTube and all that stuff. I've mentioned this before, but I may be doing a little bit of game development stuff here soon. Can't talk too much about that yet, but stay tuned for that because I am really excited. But yeah, life's good. How about you? What's your favorite thing about cosplaying? Is it more of a fun hobby? So yeah, the only character that I really cosplay nowadays is Peridot, just because, one, I love her so much, and two, you know, it's hard for me to, like, you know, get out to a lot of cons and make a lot of cosplay and stuff with everything else that I have to do, uh, but yeah, cosplaying is more just a hobby for me, and it's probably only gonna be Peridot here for a while, just because... You know, if there's one character I want to cosplay that I have time to, you know, make cosplay for and do that, it's gonna be her. But, um, my favorite thing about it is just, like, seeing people's faces light up when they see you and they're like, Oh, I love that character! It's So yeah, that's probably my favorite thing about cosplay is just, you know, like, connecting with people through wearing a crazy costume. What games do you play? What's your favorite? One of my all-time favorites is Animal Crossing. I'm so excited for the one coming for Switch. I'm also a huge fan of the Harvest Moon games, or it's now called Story of Seasons in the West, for those of you who don't know. Um, there are games still being made under the Harvest Moon name, but they're being made by the previous localizer of the game, and they're not the same series. So if you see any games called Harvest Moon that were made after, I believe it was 2014, those are not the same game anymore. You want to be playing Story of Seasons from 2014 and onward, because that's the actual Harvest Moon series that you know. Just saying, in case you didn't know, it's interesting information and good to know. I also, of course, love, you know, Pokemon. Always been a Mario fan. I'm really big on Nintendo stuff. Zelda, you know, it's, it's all, all that good stuff. I've mentioned this on my channel before too, but games are one of my favorite ways to just, you know, relax and wind down and take some time for myself, so that's a big part of why I don't do gaming videos on my channel, because I'm already doing what I love for a job, and if I make everything that I enjoy into a job, then I won't have anything to enjoy, like, just, like, in my free time. So yeah, games. They're cool. Who of your siblings has always had the messiest room? Out of the three of us, probably me. Not gonna lie. Also, hi Diana, I really like your covers! What are some of your favorite cartoons? I see you do a lot of Steven Universe covers, so I'm wondering about other things you watch. So, I was on vacation a few weeks ago, and we turned on the TV in the hotel room, because I don't really watch TV anymore, and um, we started watching this show called Big City Greens. It's on Disney Channel. I had never seen it before, but like, I don't- there's something about it, like, I really liked it. It's about like these like, hillbillies that move to like, New York City type 
city basically and like I don't know it was it was like it was fun it was it was fun to watch I'm also really liking Amphibia so far which is also a new show on Disney Channel it's looking pretty great I, I think it's gonna be one to keep an eye on um childhood wise I was always of course a huge fan of Spongebob Powerpuff Girls I was really really into um, Hamtaro for a while uh, Avatar The Last Airbender some more recent ones Gumball Over the Garden Wall regular show uh, you know, fun fun stuff like that. I love cartoons. They're so great. Are you gonna voice act forever and ever? I mean, I'd like to, or at the very least I'd like to be doing, you know, some sort of creative expression type thing um, forever. You know, I never really want to, like, retire from creatively expressing myself, whether it's voice acting or singing or dancing or whatever. I just really like doing creative stuff. It makes me happy. How do you prepare for a voiceover audition? So the most important thing you gotta figure out when looking at the script for an audition is what does this character want? You know, whether it's that they, like, want somebody to listen to them who's not listening to them, or, you know, they, like, really, really want to be friends with a certain person, or, you know, like, it can be anything. We as human beings, you know, kind of revolve around the things that we want, and it's no different with playing a character either. So once you know what you want as that character, that's gonna be your key to really giving a good performance. How old were you when you became a voice actor and when is a good time to start voice acting? I started voice acting professionally like a little bit after I got married, so I guess I was 22. Uh, as far as when is a good time, you know, whenever you want to get into it, you should get into it. There's not really an age, you know, there's there's not a too young or a too old for voice acting. The nice thing is that because, you know, it doesn't matter what you look like or if, you know, like your looks change as you get older or any of that because it's just about your voice and your acting. So, yeah, whenever. If you want to start now, do it now. You know, don't don't wait to do the things you want to do. Just do them. What's your favorite wild animal? Seahorse. Do you know or like Undertale? How do you keep your voice healthy and what are a few vocal warm-ups? So one of the most important things for keeping your voice nice and healthy is staying hydrated. Drink lots of water. And you know, also one of the biggest parts of keeping your voice healthy is keeping your entire body healthy. So you know, make sure you're washing your hands a good amount and try not to touch your face. I know it's really hard and it's easier said than done because you know, it's like people just, you know, you get bored and you start, you know, like flicking at your eye or like doing that, but try your best not to do it because that way you're not gonna get sick as much. And you know, try not to like scream for no reason and you know, stuff like that. As far as vocal warm-ups, my favorite and a pretty popular one is vocal sirens. <coughs> From the top of your range to the bottom. You can also go <coughs> down, up, down. That's a popular one too. That's probably the quickest way to, you know, like kind of get yourself on track and make sure your voice is in working order. Another one I like is doing the alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, L, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, and going up the scale with that. But yeah, those are just a couple of my favorites. I know there are lots more out there, and if you have any favorites, feel free to share them below. What was your favorite subject back in school? So, you know, I could do like the lunch, <laughs> but um, I'll seriously answer. I think probably English was my favorite. Um, it's probably the one that always, like, came easiest to me, like, spelling and grammar, and, you know, I'm a lot better at that kind of thing than I am at, like, math. So, you know, English felt like kind of a breather from, like, the rest of the day and, like, not understanding math and getting frustrated. But also, lunch! <laughs> How long have you been growing out your hair? Eh, since probably, like, middle school. My hair doesn't grow very fast. But it's all real. Nothing wrong with extensions, just... This took a very long time, and if you tell me to cut it, I will cut you. <laughs> just kidding. If you could change one thing in the world, what would it be? I would give everyone the power, or I guess everybody has the power, but rather the presence of mind to accept people the way they are. I think if everybody did that, we'd probably have a lot fewer problems. What type of mattress do you have, and is it comfortable? I'm shopping and I want to find a new one. I have a Tempur-Pedic. I don't know, like, what specifically kind of Tempur-Pedic, but it's a Tempur-Pedic, and it's pretty comfortable. Can't go wrong with memory foam. 
Maybe you can, I don't know, but I like mine. Did you ever watch the anime Mermaid Melody? Man, there was a time that I was like so obsessed with that show, it's so good. Here's a super awkward middle school picture of me wearing Karen's necklace. What's a song that you really enjoy but it's totally out of your range? I unfortunately have a lot of those because I am not great at belting very high. Um, I can do like loud head voice, I don't know if you'd even call it a mix, but um, yeah, that's about it. One that I would really like to cover and just don't feel like I have the chops for is Jump Up Superstar from Super Mario Odyssey. I would love to do it, but um, I don't know, man. What's your favorite food slash drink? Fettuccine Alfredo from Olive Garden and Raspberry Lemonade also from Olive Garden. I know it's not authentic Italian, I don't care, it's good. So that is all the questions for now. Thank you guys so much for your awesome questions and for supporting my channel. It's, I say this every time I know and I sound like a broken record, but it's, it's, it means so much that there are people out there who want to watch the stuff that I love to do. Cause you know, I'd be doing this whether people watched it or not, but the fact that I can connect with people over what I love to do and like make somebody feel some type of way, I guess it's, it, it's surreal. And you know, even though I'd be doing this anyway, without you guys, I would never be able to do it on the scale that I'm currently doing it. And to make, you know, being creative and doing what I love to do in my full-time job, that is because of you guys. And I am so incredibly grateful. Thank you so much. So I hope you guys are as excited for the future as I am. I cannot wait to show you what I have coming next. And in the meantime, thank you guys so much again for being so incredible. Keep being you, keep being awesome, and I will see you next time. Bye guys!